I'm back, bitches. So, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, follow me on social media. Tell me what you want to see. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks for the support. I love you. And um, stay tuned for today's video on my video phone. Okay, I always make sure you use credit. So, hey, y'all. So, today's video um, is very... Let me start off with this. So, I have worn this sweater before in my videos, but it's because I gained a lot of weight. And um, all my other sweaters that I used to like is when I was smaller and I didn't have stomach fat everywhere. So, I used to like them to fit fitted, but now I'm so fat, so I like them to fit loose and baggy. And I don't have many sweaters like this that's cute, so this is one of my faves. So, and this will definitely not be the last time you see it. But basically, this video today... Um, was requested by someone on Twitter, and it's a really important topic, it's self-love, and I feel like that is a very important topic, especially when you're a girl, and, um, I mean, every girl face it, but I hate to add emphasis, I'm sorry about that, I hate to add emphasis on black girls, because we're looked down upon in society, but all girls in general, women, everyone, but especially my women, so this video is about self-love, let's get into it. So, throughout this video, I'm going to have to tap it because my phone is being really weird. And I make my videos on my phone in case you guys didn't know. But I feel like um, self-love definitely comes from you. It comes from you and it comes from you knowing your worth. But I'm not going to sit here and say that you are dumb if you've ever felt like you're ugly. And you are dumb if you ever felt like you're not worth it. Because, honestly, I feel like that to myself a lot of times. Like, I feel like, wow, like, I'm not worth it. I go harder for everybody else and they go harder for me. I feel like nobody's really looking out for me. Sometimes I feel like, oh, my God, I've gained all this weight and this and that. And I feel like my teeth are never going to be perfect. And I, I have my own insecurities. So I'm not gonna freak. We did not need that to happen. I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay, better. Like right now, when I made that little face, I was about to say, "Shit, I'm ugly," and I feel like deep down inside i know i'm not ugly and i hope that everyone knows like the people that call themselves ugly and stuff like deep down inside you're not ugly like i don't know how everyone looks but i feel like to each like the beauty is in the eye of the withholder or whatever so like i'm probably ugly to somebody else but i'm not bombing shit to my boyfriend you get me and i feel like that's with everybody like you're of course you're gonna be someone's always gonna have something good to say about you and somebody's always gonna have something bad to say about you so, I feel like in order to achieve self-love, it's the thing of, like, not worrying about what anyone says. Like, loving yourself for you and following your own mind and believing your own self. Which I'm not going to tell you is going to happen overnight because that is not going to happen overnight. It could take years and years and years for it to happen. But then at the same time, it could take a week. I just feel like it's like a place in our mind and we have to train that little place to believe we are great not just tweet oh i'm the baddest bitch but actually believe that in our head and if you don't believe it i will tell you i doubt that you guys would just take it from me but i am telling you you are bad you are bad you are cute and you are everything that you want to be and you can be everything you want to be and it makes me really sad because like a lot of girls use the excuse well it's not an excuse they probably really feel this way like well nobody never told me blah blah blah, blah. and i feel like that's the worst thing in the world because it's like you have to create your own happiness you cannot look for your happiness inside of a nigga you cannot look for your happiness inside of someone telling you what you are and this and that but you have to find that for yourself because at the end of the day you're kind of all you got i mean like some people post a picture and they get the satisfaction of everyone gassing them up and i can honestly say that was me at a period of time like if i didn't get a hundred likes I'm deleting this, like, mm -mm. and I feel like I came to the conclusion, my boo bitch, I came to the conclusion that that was me because I was so insecure, like, I needed likes to um, define who I was, and at the same time, I feel like if you can't define who you are, then nobody else can define who you are, and that's why girls go around dating all these guys, and they get wrapped up in it, and then they're wondering why this and this is happening to them, and okay, I'm not going to go on a rant about it, I'm going to just end this video, if you guys want another video detailed, then I'll give you that, but I don't want you guys to just, like, think that I just made a long video about all the shit that I can't stand about 
how I wish that every girl would love themselves, which I really, really do. And I can go into so many details, but I'm just going to end this video by saying you have to love yourself. Self-love comes from you, yourself. And no matter what nobody says, you have to activate that little piece in your mind to believe you are bad. You are bomb. You are the best. Nobody is better. And I cannot really stress that to you. I can sit here and try to make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, like turn on the knob, but you have to want that for yourself. The same reason as to like anything else, you have to want it for yourself because everybody can tell you that you're pretty, but if you don't really believe that you're pretty, are you really pretty? You hear me? And I feel like everybody feel like beauty is a looks thing. Like no one looks at the greater picture of things. Like, oh yeah, she's nice, blah, 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 blah. Like everybody feels like, oh, if your body's not like this and your skin's not like this and your hair's not like this, that's B. Yes. Do you be you uh, dress how you want to dress? If you don't like what everybody's wearing, don't wear that shit. If you don't want a weave down to your butt, don't get it. Like, and I feel like it's so messed up because I am, I am today. I feel like I look really cute. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm not even wearing freaking mascara or lip gloss. And I, most of the time I feel horrible without that. But I was like, why would I make a video about self love and like, I'm not even in my natural state. So I'm in my natural state, even with my natural hair. And I am a victim of, like, feeling like I look so ugly when I don't have a weave in my hair. And I'm trying to break that. And um, whoever else feel like that, y'all could break it with me. Like, we can have, like, a team thing through this. Because I am all here for this. I am all here for self-love. And I feel like we need to all love ourselves, especially as women. Because men, they're boo-boo. And, like, if they see that you don't love yourself it's such a good advantage for them i can give you guys that <clears throat> ah, i can't tell you guys deeper about that but ending this video on a note of love yourself because only you can love you like that bye guys